Is it better to look down or look ahead when you walk? A lot of people have asked me this question. Recently, I posted a video on YouTube about the best ways to walk to reduce falls. And in the video, I mentioned that it's much safer. It's, you have a much less chance of falling if your head is, is upright when you walk. And a lot of people commented that either they couldn't get their head up straight or that they didn't really feel safer. A few people even mentioned that they had fallen because they had been looking up and didn't see obstacles. So first of all, why should you keep your head up straight? The head, the, the skull, weighs about 20 pounds. So if you take 20 pounds and you lean it forward over the body, you're pushing the center of gravity of the body in front of itself. So you're moving the center of gravity from inside your body to slightly in front of you, which makes it harder if you lose your balance because to recover, you have to actually use more energy when your center of gravity is out in front of you to recover your, your balance. If you think about a stack of blocks um, and think of the body as a stack of blocks when you're walking, if you stack the blocks up one on top of the other and then you try to poke the stack of blocks, it's much harder to, to push the stack of blocks over than if you take the top block and lean it out in front. So if you shift the top block forward and then you poke the stack of blocks, it doesn't take very much energy to knock everything over. And that's because you're changing the center of gravity of the stack of blocks. If everything is lined up one on top of the other, it's much more balanced than if you have one block shifted forward. So it's kind of hard for anyone to argue against that. You're looking down. You're not looking straight ahead. So there's a lot of um, times when obstacles might come up that you might not see if you're focusing your attention on looking down. And this could include in parking lots um, um, obstacles like a curb or a dog or anything that can be in, that could upset your balance. If you're not looking up, you might not see it until the very last moment. And so what you notice in people that look down a lot is that they tend to have much more dramatic and scary course correction because they're not seeing something that's, that's out in front of them because they're not looking up. So by the time they get to it, they have to make a very sudden movement to avoid it or, or, to, or to navigate it. People that look down they have to make very big course corrections because they don't see something that's, that's right out in front of them. So what are the reasons why people need to look down? And a lot of younger people and doctors and physical therapists, they might say, you know, just look up. You just have to look up. And I understand definitely how difficult that is. Um, a lot of people have arthritis. So in, in the neck, if you have arthritis, that means that either your head is further forward on your body or you simply can't lift your head back up again. Your head is never going to be completely straight. So if that's true um, for you, there's nobody, no amount of advice can get your head up straight. So what you have to do is, is really work on your balance to make your balance better to compensate for the fact that you're, that you really can't get your head up straight. Um, the other big reason that people look down, and probably I think the biggest reason, is vision. A lot of people have low vision. They might be blind. They have macular degeneration. They have diabetes. There's so many problems that can come up with vision that limits your ability to see the ground. And if that describes you, then definitely it's, it's much, much safer for you to look down because you simply can't see the ground otherwise and you're gonna stumble more, you're definitely gonna trip more if you're, if you're not looking down. So if, if you're someone with low vision, I recommend that you do look down despite the fact that that throws your center of gravity over um, or puts your center of gravity out in front of you. Um, a lot of people with low vision, I would recommend that they have a cane or a walker or some, or, or, or some type of walking device because that group of people is much, much more likely to lose their balance and having a third point of contact with the ground or a fourth point with, with a walker 
is going to make them much, much less likely to fall. Um, so if you're, if you have arthritis that's pushing your head forward, or if you can't get your head up because of arthritis, or if you have low vision, those are all circumstances where you kind of have no choice but to look down. And there is um, some advice I can give you to try to help you with this, if this describes you. And that's, you don't have to, you don't have to see the ground by tilting your head forward. Um, if you have low vision, um, or if you're, if you're concerned about stumbling on objects in front of you, what you, what you should do is learn to look down with your eyes and out in front of you with your eyes. So you want to learn to kind of scan forward and down all the time as you're walking, as opposed to tilting your head down the whole time that you're walking. Because the, the weight of the head and, and the analogy of a, of a block stacked on top of each other is very true. You know, if you can keep your head upright, but still see the ground in front of you by looking down with your eyes, you're much more balanced. You're much less likely to fall. Um, but at the end of the day, for, for most people, um, the advice should be try to keep your head upright and look ahead when you walk. But if you can't, then try to try to use the technique of looking down with your eyes and looking straight ahead as much as possible. Always, no matter how bad your arthritis is, no matter how bad your neck is, always try to be as tall as possible when you walk because that's always gonna make your balance better. It's easier to balance the straighter up you are. And if you really are leaning forward, if you really have very low vision, I highly recommend an assistive device. It's always important for people to try to maintain their ability to walk as much as possible, despite what problems they might have.